can Islamic finance straighten the economic breach among OIC countries? Uh, Alhamdulillah, OIC countries are very active in Islamic banking. And as you know, IDB is the Islamic Development Bank works on the basis of Islamic finance and it has been a very uh, excellent bridge builder between OIC countries and we hope that uh, also individual Islamic banks, commercial Islamic banks existing within the OIC countries also try to build, uh, build bridges and opportunities and also uh, come together in good uh, economic endeavors. Okay. Should we go for Islamic microfinance in order to increase the economy of the Ummah? I think Islamic banks by nature, they have an element of microfinance. Uh, however, to go to the most basic of microfinance, like, uh, you know, financing one sheep or goat or these things, we need specialized institutions. And I think that um, in many jurisdictions now, uh, there are different entities of the society coming together to provide such Islamic microfinance and it's a good idea and opportunity because if you look at many so-called conventional microfinance you will find that the interest rate is very high 500%, 600%, 700% and more so we need a real microfinance which is also Islamically based at the same time is beneficial for all but I think uh, society needs to come together because different elements of society has to establish such microfinance not only commercial banks because it might not be feasible for commercial banks in the beginning yes.